Hello students, today we will talk about Religio Medici by Sir Thomas Brownie. Religio Medici is a very famous book by Sir Thomas Brownie. Religio Medici is a universally recognized world classic. It is one of the most appreciated and renowned books of its time. Sir Thomas Brownie was a medical physician by profession. He was a wise, noble, truthful, stately human being. He was an antiquarian and scientific writer of the foremost information and authority. It was his extraordinary depth and riches, an imaginative sweep of mind, rare wisdom, the wealth of heart and his quite wonderful English style, all combined that sealed Sir Thomas Brownie with his well-earned immortality. Sir Thomas Brownie was a 17th century English physician who had a rare intellectual bend of mind. After completing his medical education on the continent, he went home to write a comprehensive testament of his values and beliefs. That was religio medici. It means the religion of a doctor. He was a compassionate, contentious and courageous physician who served his patients holistically. Brownie settled and worked till his last in Norwich. He served his patients during the Great Plague of 1655 to 1656 and did not escape like others. S.J. Brownie was a true Renaissance man. Till date, no Englishman has deserved to be ca called a Renaissance man more than Sir Thomas Brownie. Renaissance is a French word that means rebirth. It symbolizes the beginning of a new era of art and literature. As you know, it took place between 14th century uh, to 17th century. It promoted the rediscovery of classical philosophy, literature and art. Renaissance people followed the common values of humanism, individualism, skepticism, well-roundedness, secular, secularism and classicism. Nearly all the writers and artists of this period reflected these characteristics in their writings and artifacts. artifacts. Sir Thomas Brownie was also a practicing physician, voluminous reader, theologian of his own kind and a polymath. S.T. Brownie was a tolerant and curious man, trying to be a moderate protestant. In his writings, he tried to reconcile science, scholarship and faith. His book, Religio Medici, is a fantastic prose and has rambling ruminations from the doctor theologian on charity, faith, hope and other topics which were new to his age. Religio Medici is a medieval text. It may be called a kind of autobiography. There is a story behind its writing. The author wrote it for his own pleasure and not for publication. He gave it to one of his friends to read. 
but the friend got it published in 1642 without his knowledge. He liked it so much. The book quickly became one of the most widely read books of his time. Later on, S. T. Brownie edited it and got it published again in 1643. The book has two parts. The first part explores implicit faith and implicit hope. And the second part explores charity. In the preface to the book, Brownie expressed his thought as dispersed meditations and not connected to the particular time they were written in. It was a great thing. He further explains in his preface that the readers should read the book with an open mind, full of imaginative self-explorations of the ideas expressed in the book. The author believed in divine providence, realizing that some aspects of faith cannot be understood. He delighted in the mysteries and uncertainties of life. According to him, Faith is required for salvation, which is the eternal reward of human existence. Brownie's profession, that of a medical doctor, has led him to God by causing him to look closely at nature, discovering discernible perfection to the, of the created world. He believes that nothing is grotesque or ugly in the world. Everything is harmonious and connected. People contain the entire world within themselves. They are like the microcosms in the macrocosm of the world. It is a very beautiful thought. This type of speculation reflects Brownie's typical tolerance in that era of religi religious extremism. It was an era of social and religious upheavals when men could be executed for expressing their religious beliefs. Earlier, Catholicism was a dominant religion. But during the Renaissance period, its dominance began to be challenged by the Protestants, the Christians, the humanists and the other belief system believers. In his book, Religio Medici, Brownie aims to dispel the idea from the minds of the people that one can be a physician like him and yet be a member of the Church of England, which was thought to be impossible in those, area, those times. S. G. Brown, Brownie seems to be in favor of the tolerance of all the faiths in the book. He supports a rational inquiry into the works of God, nature and the Bible. He says that God has made us human beings and not beasts, so we owe the debt of rational inquiry to God. Brownie scientifically discusses the biblical miracles. Yet he appears to be a firm believer in witchcraft, magic, and hundred of other superstitions. Brownie says that holds no terror for him. He believes that this world 
is not an inn but a hospital where people come not to live but to die. He also advocates the virtue of universal love. His attitude towards religion is a complex one. It has the elements of orthodoxy, rationalism, the electric system, Spatchett's decision and even mysticism. He combines them in a fairly harmonious way. In other words, tolerance is the key word in religion or medicine. It is its first of several major themes. Brownie hopes that God in his mercy will also bless those people who could not exercise their faith. He understands the difficulties faced by common people and refuses to judge them. Brownie affirms that charity is as important as faith. Doing good works, especially for the poor, totally sympathizing with and appreciating the soul of fellow human beings and seeing godliness in each human being are different forms of doing charity in the world. I repeat, doing good work specially for the poor, totally sympathizing with and appreciating the soul of fellow human beings and seeing godliness in each human being are different forms of doing charity in the world. A person can also do good works, hold good thoughts and offer prayers for others as part of doing charity. The book Religio Medici not only affirms the author's Christian faith but also refers to a wide diversity of topical thoughts. The book transcends the normal barriers of devotional literature. Brownie is both skeptical and celebratory, erudite and fantastical in his attitudes. The whole book relies upon one of the century's finest prose writings. It is firm as well as idiosyncratic in tone. The book includes to find prayers in verse and numerous sections on subjects ranging from the occult to the nature of sleep. Structure upon the Christian virtues of faith, hope and charity. Structured upon the Christian virtues of faith, hope and charity. Religio Medici is also a psychological self-portrait. Brownie rejects Christian authority and ritualism in favor of his natural reason and dictates of his mind. Throughout the book, Brownie uses scientific imagery to illustrate religious truth as part of his discussion on the relationship of science to religion. Another major theme of the book is the dignity and moral responsibility of the medical profession. Brownie believes that medical practice is a natural extension of moral life and not a simple trade or profession. He gives priority to patients' interests over his own necessities. Unable to cure a patient, he did not like to charge fees from the patient. The book reflects his ideology about his own profession. 
In that age of furious controversies among thousands of religious books, treatises and pamphlets, Brownie treats religion in a gentle, tolerant and human way without partisan bias. The thoughts of Brownie are considerably enhanced by the beauty of his prose style. The style of religious medici is of the bar baroque kind. The syntax is complex and Ciceronian. The balance and rhythm of his sentences gives his prose a poetic quality hardly surpassed by any other writer. His prose has a quaintness of melancholy mysticism, archaic diction, far-fetched learning, blend of dreamy harmonies which have no parallel in English prose. His prose is an intellectual and emotional feast for learned readers. To conclude, it is, as says Tucker Brook, likely that Brownie, in all his estimable career, never prescribed a better medicine than when he wrote religio medici. The world was sick of horrors on the brink of civil war and in the throes of a harsh theory. The book is a prophylactic against totalitarian damnation and the world took it to its heart. Thank you very much.